Overdrive. We're going to talk to Brian straight ahead. Or that was Brian in California, previously attended Fort Hood. Visit GCNlive.com today. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother, mainstream media. Yeah, I just fade Government down the intro. Cover-ups. You want answers? I want to go to as many of these calls well, as I so can, but I got to read the comments Alex on the Infowars.com story that's uh, up on DrudgeReport.com. Ambien isn't an SSRI, it's a sleeping pill. You tinfoil beheaded deep bleepers. That's Captain Gonzo. Peter Pounder says, shut the you up, you idiot, and go back to reading your comic books while the adults try to have a discussion. And then he gives a generic name of the drug that, uh, that uh, he was on. And it says that it's a sedative hypnotic. That's right, the Ambien is in the psychotropic sedative hypnotic class. It's, it's worse than most psychotropics. And then the next person says, you utter ignorant slave. The U.S. Army has stated he was on a cocktail of drugs for depression and sleep disorders. The Ambien was for the sleep disorder, the SSRI for depression. Now go suck on your government, you know what. So I love how folks counter the folks that go, you're a tinfoil. I mean, Ambien, the insert says, can make you a murdering zombie. And I'm sick of people that go, tinfoil, conspiracy when we're informed. Like that makes you an intellectual giant. So I'm glad folks are countering you with links to what the drug does. I mean, Ambien is horrible, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people can take it safely, but it doesn't matter. It's Russian roulette. And they've got checkpoints to stop drunk drivers. I mean, compared to this stuff, it's nothing. Let's talk to Brian, previously attended Fort Hood, and then Dylan, cousin currently in Fort Hood, last two calls. Brian, tell us what happened. Uh, hi, Alex. Uh, basically, uh, I was there teaching a class with the Air Force, and I left a day before the attack happened. And it was really surreal, you know, to see the president there a couple days later, right next to where I was going every day for two weeks. You're talking about uh, the shooting with Major Hassan? Uh, yes, that shooting. Mm -hmm. um, there was a video showing him going into a 7-Eleven. I went into that 7-Eleven every morning to get coffee, so... And I, I taught a lot of guys there, so I was really worried about how they were doing. Um, but I know firsthand, and, and you're exactly right with the drugs, you know, that they're feeding the, they're not fixing the issue. They're not looking at the issue. They're just throwing pills at these troops, thinking it's going to make them, it's going to fix the problem. But that's not the problem. These guys are deploying a lot. They're under a lot of pressure with work. The force is shrinking. Everybody's worried about their jobs. And uh, pills aren't the answer. They're well, Sarge, making it worse. A lot of the military I've talked to here on air, people I know, friends of mine, who were in the regular army, you name it, they throw uh, regular drugs, uh, opiates at them to get them addicted to control them. I mean, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I would believe that. And, uh, I mean, I, I was given uh, uh, that sleeping pill uh, you were talking about, Ambien. Uh, on some deployments for sleep. And uh, some people would even get the stronger version called Restorol. And uh, it, there, there's the pill-popping culture, you know. It's in, sick. In it's military. sick. And then meanwhile, there's a war on drugs when all these pharmaceuticals are even worse. Thanks for your information, sir. Last caller, Dylan, cousin, currently in Fort Hood, locked down yesterday. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a Facebook uh, message from my cousin's wife. She had to stay in her house, you know, like you said, 
And he couldn't even get across the base to her, I guess, while this guy's going on this rampage on the uh, Ambien sleep aids. I got a few friends that are on those. I definitely wouldn't get on those. But, yeah, Alex, you're, uh, you're a real hero. Oh, no, I'm not. I just want my freedom. <laughs> I'm I'm just a sane guy trying to bail here, you know, trying to get water out of the boat. Trying to fight the info war up here in Iowa. But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We'll have more, obviously, as it develops on the nightly news on this issue and a lot of others, 7 o'clock Central this evening. If you're not an InfoWarsNews.com subscriber, become one today. That's what helps finance so much of this operation. PrisonPlanet.tv, of course, is the original site name. It really works really good now and has all the films and books and other documentaries and special events. PrisonPlanet.tv, you're funding the tip of the spear in the alternative media with the great crew we've got. And again, great job to the entire crew. Uh, everybody in this entire operation, from the administrative folks, the customer service, to the reporters, to the video editors, to just everybody, and to the folks in here running the live radio show every day. That's the most stressful, focused part of the job around here. To Buckley Hammond, who helped me start InfoWars 19 years ago. Actually, 22 years ago when I got out of high school, he started helping me. He's here now working with us full-time as well. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help.